What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today, we're doing another geode pour because these things are just like taking over my brain. So here's the colors we're working with. We're using a lot of natural colors today. We have a Liquitex Basics Burnt Sienna, Liquitex Basics Raw Sienna, Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium, Pebio Iridescent Precious Gold. We have an Amsterdam Titanium White and an Amsterdam Onyx Black. How are you doing today? I'm going to get right on the right foot, pop a couple bubbles, we're going to start layering our cup, and we're going to get to this pour. Because you probably can see on the side angle, I have the blue one over there drying right now. I'm trying to control it from dripping too much. It's drying fantastic so far. Must say, I have no complaints about that one. I love it, and I think you guys are going to love it too. So, continuing the trend, I like to layer from dark to light back to dark, create that contrast, create that, that gorgeous beauty, then incorporating kind of a metallic in there, which is our precious gold from Pebio. If you guys have never used that gold before, it is an amazing gold. It is an amazing gold. So, how's everybody doing this lovely day? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. It is still fairly warm here in Detroit. I mean, 34 degrees. That's what it was today. So it's not like super hot or warm, but compared to what it was, I will take it, you guys. I will absolutely take it seven days a week and twice on Sunday. But I hope you guys are doing amazing. From whatever part of the world you're watching from, I know a lot of you are viewers from all over the world, and imagine me forgetting my gloves. I should be wearing gloves, you guys. I might not be a smart man. No, I make mistakes, just like everybody. Alright, let's get some of this luscious brown in there. And then I want to have another little pop of white and some black to really kind of pump up the contrast in this one. Using a lot of natural colors. I haven't done a brown natural stone-like pour yet, and I'm super excited to do it because why not, you guys? All right, so we already know from the, the last one and all the previous, the first couple colors of rings, they get gobbled up. And if you really didn't want to have them get eaten up, you could have a base here, allow these paints you're pouring just to slide. But for the sake of this, it doesn't bother me too much if it gets eaten up. Um, I don't mind having this gold as kind of something that rolls underneath because this gold more than likely will create some really cool cell effects as it ends up on the bottom layer. And yeah, cells are good. Cells create kind of an interesting little depth to the parts. So for here, now we will start the, the pour. I don't like it coming out that side. I'm gonna adjust it. I would like several colors to come out, but that that black color seems to be the one that wants to come out first, and that's fine. I mean, that is the last color we put in there, but look at those lines. You guys, that is, that's gorgeous. Let me do a little turn here. Kind of change it up just a little. Change the pattern and the flow. Guys, that is beautiful. Wow. All right. Man, I love that. That's phenomenal right there. All right, so let's add a little bit of gold. We're gonna separate these rings. 
push them out just a little. I'm already getting some cool irregular lines just from the way we're pouring. Now these lines, these puddles that I'm pouring right now, you already know they're gonna shrink as they expand, push each other out. They're gonna shrink up considerably, so. I'm not concerned with them trying to take over, because I know they won't. That gold is just, ooh, boy. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, you guys. All right, let's get this delicate lines again. Trying to hold your hand as steady as possible. And it's difficult after a 10 hour shift and a lot of caffeine. But we're doing it. Well, yeah, I've been literally thinking about coming home all day long. I'm very excited to get this pour started. I mixed all my colors last night, sealed them up with some press and seal so they wouldn't dry out. I try to mix my colors the day before. That way, uh, it has time to, for the bubbles to kind of work themselves out doesn't help that I immediately start mixing the paint again once I get home because it's kind of a habit to stir it. But that's always a good good idea. If you're gonna mix your paints, you already know what colors you want. Try to mix them the day prior. Put them in a nice airtight container and that will keep them preserved and stop them from drying out on you. And then when you do your pour, you won't have as many bubbles because all of them have risen to the surface. And right before you pour, you give the cup a couple taps on the bottom. All those bubbles that are remaining on the surface, if there are any at all, will pop. All right, now what I think, I'm, I love these color combinations that are going on. I know I'm gonna have maybe one more ring pour out of this cup right here and then we're gonna have to start stretching. So I don't want any more of this to roll under. So I'm gonna take colors that we're gonna be left over anyway and give that paint something to move on. Just allowing it something to push out to the outer edges. It'll make these colors roll under as opposed to those brilliant lines that we have going on so far. But yeah, look at this stuff, man. This looks glorious right now. I'm not too concerned. These Those colors are gonna flow over the side once we're done here. I wanted to make sure we had some room to grow. Last little bit, try to keep it really confined. This will be one of the last pours in the middle. And I've noticed every time that I set this cup down, the colors churn a little bit here and there, a little bit here and there. And they start to get a little bit over mixed, but the lines are still staying really feathery and delicate. That gold is doing some magic on this inner layer right here. It's looking amazing. I'm trying to get the paint to kind of coil over itself as it pours out. I'm trying to keep my hand as steady as I can without doing what I just did. <laughs> oh man, I just breathed. Y'all saw that. It's crazy something as simple as just exhaling blew the stream off to the side like that. All right. 
trying to stop the stream. I may want to mix another. Yeah, maybe. Just because I don't want big blobs of this, these colors in the center. So I will pour a little bit of what we got left over into the into another cup because we still have plenty of paint you guys so now i know we're in the middle i'm definitely going to make these puddles a little smaller than they were we have this really white band going around there that is beautiful Let me grab another cup and I will quickly layer these colors again. Got some of this nice burnt sienna color. And then my unbleached titanium kind of alternating between the dark and light. Really love the way the gold interacted. And we had some black in there with that. A little bit of white. Maybe I had a little pop of this dark brown. This dark brown was kind of a backup that I did not think I was going to need. Let's see. We're just going to drizzle that in there, create some some lines, but those lines won't last very long because it's on the surface. So here's what I'm going to do, because normally the first part of the stream kind of is not very mixed or cohesive. So I'm going to paint a little tiny bit into that cup and I'm going to use that in a moment. And let's try to get some really delicate lines going on in the center. We've got just a great mixture of golds and browns coming out right now. Just let the paint do its thing. Man. There's something about this magic Keeps me coming back every time. You guys know what I mean. It's like every cup full of colors is like a new adventure. I can just sit here, just zen out, and just enjoy creating something. is such a wonderful outlet for your soul. Man, I just, I don't even want to stop. It's the way these colors are flowing right now is just gorgeous. We're gonna try to slow it down just a bit. All right, guys. Let's take some of these excess browns that we have. Kinda give it a little shift. Okay, we can afford to move these around a bit. Because as you see, there's there's plenty of paint here. Plenty. We still have a lot of really round lines that I want to get rid of. And you see a lot of that dark brown is just getting gobbled up as it flows. And that was the plan. Bring it back to the middle. I take it all the way to that corner again. All we're doing is breaking up the regularity of all these lines. 
I don't want it to be perfectly round. It's typically rock formations aren't perfectly anything. What I'm going to do is bring this back to the middle. So I do want the center of the piece to be right there in the middle. Now we are going to lose some, right? We know that and that's okay. Let me get these paints out of the way because here we're going to release the paint. We're going to allow it to flow. And once that happens, we can give it a little spin. All these excess colors that we really didn't want on there will flow off. There we go. Tape is off. Get it off my hands. And then we can give it a light spin. I'm, I'm okay with that actually even being on there if it stays. But just a light spin. I'm not trying to do anything with this forcefully. I mean, if I can get all of that light brown to kind of pour off, wonderful. If not, not a big deal. We do have enough going on that won't matter too much. But you guys, look at that thing. Wow. Yeah, all that little bit of gold. Ooh, boy, that is glorious looking. So what I'm gonna do, I like having that, that dot in the center. So I might, yeah, I'm gonna pour just a spot of black. Not too, too much. And the beauty of that is I can kind of cover up that little tiny mistake at the beginning. And that's all the black we need, you guys. Well, let me bring you guys down here. Check this thing out. It is mwah, gorgeous. I love the colors. They're so good together. So check out this precious gold by Pebio. You see how it's incorporating into all these tiny rings. It's creating some cell effects, which is okay. Still have some really stark lines. I just love the way this looks. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.